everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be filming my third trimester video. So I have already filmed this video before. I'm actually filming on a new camera and the quality of it is a lot better and it's a lot less forgiving and I filmed this video a few days ago and it was really really hot and you could just see that I was sweaty and clammy and just so disgusting. So I decided I, that I would refilm it because I just couldn't, so I just couldn't put that on the internet to be quite frank, I just looked disgusting. Um, so here we are refilming it. So as we speak, I'm about a week and a half away from my due date which I can't believe. So I, I'm obviously, feel, I haven't completely finished my third trimester, but I'm pretty much at the end of it. Um, so I wanted to film it now while I'm in it rather than filming it retrospectively once the baby had arrived. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Um, I've got everything on my phone. So I'm gonna go through the notes on my phone. So let's just get straight into it. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was that when I went from the second to the third trimester, I did suffer with a little bit of heartburn because the baby is just up so high. It was just giving me a little bit of heartburn. And because I got that right at the beginning of the third trimester, I was kind of dreading where that was leading to. But similarly, if you've seen my other videos, I talk about morning sickness quite a lot and how to combat it or how I overcame it. I found that similar techniques worked with the heartburn. So if you let yourself get too hungry or you're not eating regularly, you need to kind of eat little and often and that kind of kept my heartburn down. So I never had to take any medication for it and I feel like it has eased off in the last couple of weeks, but it was just there right at the beginning. I mean, I do still get it every now and again, but it hasn't been anything. It wasn't like the sickness, for example. It hasn't been anywhere near as bad as the sickness. I guess I should mention that as well. So I have been sick three times, I think three or four times during the third trimester. And that has just been, uh, like, I mean, to say I've still been sick is obviously not great, but in comparison to the previous trimesters when I was being sick all the time, I have felt so much better. In fact, on the whole, the third trimester, I have felt 10 times better. Uh, even though the bump is really big now and that can sometimes be a little bit tricky, like overall in myself, I have felt so much better. I can eat so much more. There are still a few things which I think, oh, I don't want to eat that. Um, but I think that's just, you know, that's just pregnancy, isn't it? But in terms of like the overall, this has definitely been the best I felt throughout my entire pregnancy. And the sickness is just, oh, it's just so much better. I can't tell you how relieved I've been this trimester that there hasn't been that horrendous morning sickness or like sometimes I do get bouts of nausea, but it's just nowhere near as bad. So that's kind of been the highlight, I would say. The other thing which I have experienced during the third trimester, which I think probably a lot of people will, is pelvic pain. So I had it in my groin and sort of like at the top of my legs and underneath and like around my bum. And that has happened it started, I would say, in the middle of the third trimester and it's progressively got a little bit worse. It's not horrendous. It's not anything that's completely debilitating, or at least for me, it hasn't been. It's just meant that I felt heavy in that area and it has been. there has been times when I felt uncomfortable, particularly if I'm in bed, like lying down on one side. I've felt like a lot of pressure on one hip and things like that. So that hasn't been the most fun. But at the same time, it's one of those things which you can manage. Like if you walk around and things like that, I have still been running. So I think this week will be the week that I probably have to knock running on the head, which is really sad. Um, but I made it to 38 and a half weeks still running. Even with the pelvic pain, I just sort of listened to my body and when it was hurting, I would stop and walk for a little bit and all those sorts of things. I was really keen actually to like keep exercising throughout my pregnancy because I'm a runner anyway. So I didn't want to just stop because I was pregnant because I felt there was just so many benefits to staying fit. So in terms of managing that pelvic pain, you really do just have to 
listen to your body, see what you're comfortable with. If it hurts, stop. If it feels okay, carry on. Um, so that was the main thing with that. But yeah, the running has been surprisingly a lot easier to carry on than I thought it would be. So if any of you are runners out there or you go to the gym or and you're worried that because you're pregnant you're gonna have to stop all that, I would just say don't stress about it. Carry on to a point in which you feel like, oh okay, actually now is not feeling that great and I think I need to stop, which has been the point for me this week where I think, do you know what, I might just have to be walking from now on and do an hour's walk instead of an hour's run. Not that I was doing an hour's run pregnant, <laughs> I wasn't going that far, but normally I would do an hour's run. Um, so that has been the turning point this week but up until that point running has been fine i've still been enjoying it i haven't felt like it's too much of a problem it's just it obviously is harder because you're carrying a seven pound baby around with you at the same time but i think as long as you're sensible look after yourself listen to your body it has been fine but yeah i've made it to 38 and a half weeks i mean i could prove myself wrong and go on a couple of runs this week but I think now might be the time to start sort of chilling out. I just feel like my body is telling me now that it's slow down time, let's start getting this baby out and I feel like I just wanna chill for a bit without going too over the top. But I was still running at 38 and a half weeks. The other thing I have really struggled with during the third trimester, it actually started during the second trimester, but it wasn't that bad. And then during the third trimester, it just went completely out of control. And that is eczema. I don't know if any of you have atopic dermatitis or like chronic skin conditions or anything like that. Um, I have always had eczema my whole life. I've had little bits of flare ups, nothing major to be honest like I'd have a bit on my hand or a bit in the corner of my elbow and things like that um, but during this pregnancy I have literally had it from my fingers here all the way down to about here on both hands on both sides of my hands and to be quite honest it's been so horrendous I don't know what's worse I don't know whether the eczema or the morning sickness has been worse for me I have not enjoyed the eczema at all and there were days when I would come in from work and I'd just be crying because my skin was just so hot and so itchy and so sensitive and it felt like a burn and I felt like I'd tried everything and I'm a little bit skeptical when it comes to do the doctors and eczema anyway so I didn't really I felt like if I went to the doctors to try and get creams to sort it out that they would just fob me off with steroids and emollients and it wasn't really going to fix anything. So in the end I have tried a few little things myself and now it is looking, I don't know if you can see in the camera, um, but it's looking so much better. Um, mainly thanks to my boyfriend for coming up with a few ideas which I hadn't thought of um, and it's now in the last few weeks has just improved so much. I am a little bit worried about what's going to happen once the baby's been delivered and all my hormones change change again but we're just going to have to ride it out and see see what that's like but honestly it's been so awful and if any of you I, I think I'm going to do when it's completely gone and I've managed to like sort it out completely I do think I will film another video talking about eczema and pregnancy because I literally trolled the internet for a video of somebody talking about their experience with eczema and pregnancy and what worked for them to help get rid of it and I just couldn't find anything. I could find loads on eczema and loads on pregnancy and other skin conditions but nothing with like the two. So I do think, I'm not going to talk too much more about it now but I do think I'm going to do a video like specifically talking about how I manage my eczema, how I've made it better, and hopefully it'll get better after the pregnancy and it can just be a distant memory. <laughs> Cause honestly, if any of you have got eczema, you know how horrendous it is when you just can't friggin' stop scratching. Oh my God, it's just the worst thing in the world. And then it's like burning and it feels like a burn. And I literally had ice, I had everything. I just, oh, it was not an enjoyable time. So the best thing about the third trimester. So the third trimester for me has definitely been my favorite of all three of them. The first trimester, you just need to write that one off because that is a whole experience. And then everybody told me that the second trimester is like when you feel great and blah, 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 the bump's not too big, that it's like 
too much of a problem to manage or anything but that for like the second trimester to me was was still really tough with the sickness so I didn't enjoy I mean I enjoyed all of it but didn't enjoy it as much but like the third trimester was like has been the best it's just been amazing I feel like I can't really say anything <laughs> bad about my experience during the third trimester because it's so nice because you have so much movement. Like for me, I didn't feel my baby move until I was th uh, 24 weeks pregnant, which is really normal and I'd spoken to my midwives about it and quite a lot of women whose first pregnancies, they don't feel their baby move till quite late on. So I didn't feel my baby move until I was 24 weeks. And then as soon as I got into, and then, then it was like so light and it was like cute and nice, but it was just so light. And then once I got into the third trimester and baby just grows so much and so quickly, the movement is unbelievable. Like if any of you are pregnant at the minute and you're not quite in the third trimester, you have so much to look forward to. One day we were sat on the sofa and I had my phone on my top of my belly like that and the baby literally like kicked it off. <laughs> <laughs> there's just so many nice things like that and it's so reassuring when you can feel the baby move and you can monitor the movements yourself and you know that everything's okay because obviously before that point you're going for scans and obviously you you have an idea that things are okay and you hope that things are okay but you don't know until you've been for your scan but when you get to the third trimester you monitor the movements yourself so you know if everything's okay and that just brought me so much more peace of mind that I could sit there and say, I know, like, let so for, for us, 11 o'clock at night, the baby goes crazy. So every night at 11 o'clock, we'd sit there and watch the bump go mad. And that just brings you so much reassurance and it just makes, like, it is just the best thing ever. So if you aren't quite in your third trimester yet, you have a lot to look forward to because that for me is just, been like the best thing. It's just so lovely. The other big thing that happened during the third trimester for me was obviously having to finish work, which has been, I will be honest, has been a bit of a journey because work for me is a massive part of my life and I'm a big career person. So to finish work, I was not dreading, but I was, I was worried about it. I was worried about how I would feel about not having my job to go to every day, especially when I enjoy it so much. Um, so the decision as to when I would finish was kind of up in the air for quite a while, but I did end up finishing at 37 and a half weeks. I think it was 30, oh no, it could have been 36 and a half weeks to 37 weeks. It was within that bracket. Um, and that was mainly because my body just, I was just coming home from work and I was just absolutely shattered. And the thought of like traipsing across fields and through hedgerows and around trees just, I just, it wasn't that I didn't want to do it. It was just physically, I was just like, I just can't do that today. So we knew at that between 36 and 37 weeks, that was when I knocked working on the head. And mm, I'm just, I am still a little bit sad about it because it's such a, big part of my life and I've worked really hard for my job and all that good stuff like I'm sure every woman goes through the same stuff um but that was quite a big thing that's happened in the third trimester I'd say that was probably like the biggest decision all the way through the third trimester I was like when am I going to finish and I was asking all these other pregnant women that are like pregnant at the same time as me like when are you finishing work and a lot of people are obviously quite lucky they have office jobs and they could go right up to the end in an office job or if they work from home but I have an outdoorsy very physical job and yeah in the summer heat as well it just wasn't conducive for being <laughs> really heavily pregnant so that is when we decided that I needed to finish work and I think that's pretty much everything I was like trying to think of other things like symptoms or something that could have come up during this trimester. I did notice during the third trimester that my, I realized even that my skin had generally been really good throughout my pregnancy. Not the skin, you know, not including the eczema because the eczema was not good, but the skin on my face has been really good. Um, my hair has been amazing. I'm now terrified about postpartum hair loss because my hair is the best it's ever looked or at least the best it's looked since I was a teenager um so yeah I just think overall it's been 
the most loveliest trimester. I've got nothing really bad to say about it. You know, there are either pelvic pain, a little bit of heartburn. I expected all these things really, but so it wasn't really much of a problem. I just, I feel like I've enjoyed every second of this of this trimester and it's so nice when people can see the bump and the bump looks so big and round but I will show you the bump because obviously you've not seen it since the last video so this is my current bump I am 38 and a half weeks pregnant and it looks so big and round and just full of baby isn't it crazy? I just love looking at it now like, oh god, any of you that are in your first or second trimesters or trying for babies, honestly, it's, um, this bit's the best bit, in my opinion, when it's just so big and gorgeous and kicking so much and, oh god, and I'm just so sad, like, I think now that it's so close to the end. I just feel so sad that I'm not gonna have a bump anymore. Obviously I'm excited to meet the baby, of course I am, um, but I am gonna be sad when this is gone because it's just so nice always having it with you, isn't it? So yeah, that is my 38 and a half week bump. Ah! I can't believe it. I can't actually believe that there's like a seven something pound or whatever it's gonna weigh baby in there. <laughs> How does it even fit? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I say that um, and then you look at the footage, as I'm looking at the footage back, I know I'll be thinking, oh my God, I look huge. Like obviously it fits in there. But uh, it's always strange when you're thinking, I can't believe there's actually a baby in there. So I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say about my third trimester. It's just overall been the most positive experience and I have loved every single second of it. And I hope any of you that are watching this that are coming into the third trimester or are in your second trimester, first trimester, and you're trying to get an idea of what to expect, do not worry, it only gets better. Like definitely for me, I did not feel well in the beginning and now I just feel like I'm thriving in the pregnancy. So um, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.